uh, in excess of about 250 attendees uh, from um, local um, industry, um, trade unions, contractors, um, elected officials, um, nonprofits. Uh, we were we were packed with folks to uh, honor our uh, 22 uh, nominated uh, apprentices, uh, nominated for Apprentice of the Year. Tell me about the apprenticeship program before we talk about the winners. Uh, how how do these uh, young people get involved, and uh, what do they do? Well, um, an apprenticeship um, is a earn and learn uh, type of post-secondary education where a um, an apprentice will um, go through a uh, between 95% of the learning going on in the field and 5% going on in a classroom uh, where they're um, – Earning that uh, that apprenticeship, moving toward their uh, their journeyman's card. So we have um, uh, ten different uh, locals across the local building trade unions across the UP joint apprenticeship training centers, uh, where those students will go to school and work for a contractor and um, get the knowledge that they need to um, achieve their certified by the Department of Labor um, journeyman's card. Okay, so tell me uh, how you picked the winner from all of the uh, nominees, and and uh, what was it that set uh, this uh, young man above everybody else? Well, each of our each of our unions will can nominate up to uh, three three different apprentices from their um, from their local, and we have a set of uh, a set of judges that will review all of those applications and then ultimately at uh at the end of the uh the end of the event um we'll announce the uh uh the winner of uh apprentice of the year so for example uh, we've got five different judges uh that serve on that pam that panel uh pam versalis with uh billarood uh, Don Mackey, who is a commissioner with the Federal Mediation and Conciliation Service. Uh, Jim Ebley, who is retired from um, Gunlock Champion. Uh, Mike Andary is uh, assistant professor uh, at NMU uh, Northern Michigan University. And Mike for, Michael Fernetti, uh, which is uh, a uh, retiree out of uh, Mead, um, the Mead organization, um, when they were here in the UP. So um, they will review all of those, and then they'll uh, go ahead and interview. We interviewed eight, um, eight apprentices, got interviewed of the 22 that were, were nominated. And um, after that interview, we had two finalists and, uh, and an apprentice of the year. The, the two finalists um, for 2023 was uh, Ian Bevins uh, with the uh, Plumbers and Pipefitters Local 111 and Seth Coburn. Uh, Mill Wright Local 1510 was the finalist, and our apprentice of the year is Frank Wirtz, which is uh, who is also from the uh, Plumbers and Pipefitters Local 111. So, what do they get? Do they get uh, a nice plaque, or do they get uh, some cash, or do they get uh, another job, or what? Well, they, they get almost everything of the above, right? Their their jobs would. Uh, would re- remain the same, right? But uh, they do get a they do get a plaque. Um, they get uh, um, a uh, uh, thing from the state legislature that uh, that they're that they're presented with, and then um, some cash. The the winner, uh, Frank, got a thousand dollars, and then Ian and Seth both received uh, received five hundred dollars each um, for for making it to the to the finalists. Um, and there is a uh, certainly a bragging rights uh, trophy that uh, the local um, Frank's local UA Plumbers and Pipefitters Local 111 they'll have uh, on display uh, for the year until the next apprentice of the year when we select somebody new. All right. Anything else you want to add before we close the interview here? Just that um, you know, there's there's multiple possibilities for folks to um, to apply for. A craft of their of their choosing, you know. It it's 
of those 10 different locals, you know, if you want to be a laborer, you want to be a pipe fitter, you want to be an electrician, a sheet metal worker, a pipe fitter, you know, you name it, operating engineer, all of these are possibilities here in the UP where we can keep that talent uh, in the UP. Our number one export is young people. And as many as we can keep here that decide to uh, choose a career, right, because we're not talking about jobs, we're talking about careers, something you can do for a lifetime. So, um, you know, we're always recruiting, trying to spread awareness of the opportunities right here in the Upper Peninsula um, to live, work, and raise a family.